<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Weekend. I'm Mark Sassy alongside the very excitable Tracy Miller. I can't help it. Fresh snow, you love to get up there and ride in the mountains. And I do. We have it here. We do, and we're going to talk about Vail. We're going to speci be specific about the back bowls of Vail. Have you been there? If you haven't, it is time to go there. We're going to let you know how you can get there. But first, I love the powder. I love the trees. Mark loves the groomers I and do. the corduroy because he's a former racer. So wait, grooming is like stepped up, what, 30%? Really, when you take, let's say the snow we got recently, we got a bunch of snow the other day. When you take six to 12 inches of snow and you compact it into, you know, four to six inches of corduroy, there's You're something about heart. it. I know, You're but then you can hop off the corduroy. <laughs> Anyways, Vail increases their grooming 30% this year. So you can actually ski the groom runs in the back bowls. It's not just All powder. the way to Blue yeah. Sky Basin. Yeah, all the way back. All right now, so you like the sound when you're carving and grooming, don't you? I like, well, yeah, but on the soft corduroy, it sounds yeah. just like powder. You don't like hear anything. It's the soft sounds of nature. <laughs> it's it makes, so it wonderful. It makes this little sound. <laughs> and you just have the wind in your face. Oh, it's so great. And here's another thing. We were Told talking you. about the uh, Epic Mix app earlier and how you can check out lift lines. Northwoods, Chair 11, has always been kind of one of those thorns in your side because the skiing is so fabulous in Northwoods. But the lines were always kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Not anymore. No, That's no, right. no. That's right. They've taken it down. They yeah. took it down this summer. It was they took the lift down. Visually built in put 1985. A <laughs> they put a bigger one up, a six person high speed. So the weight lines at the base of Northwoods Chair 11, no longer there. It's going to get you into that area sooner and into the back bowl sooner. Those six packs really move the people, and you can get more runs in by far. Like yeah. I would say two or three more runs a day if you're really kind of counting, which if you're pushing I do. it. And that can get you into the back bowls. Yeah. And if you don't know anything about the back bowls, take a tour. I know. The tours are awesome too. So we really want you to get in the back bowls. Go to Blue Sky Basin. The views are amazing. Take your pictures, do your Instagram, grill a burger out there. They've got grills. But if you're confused or you're nervous or scared, Vail puts on tours for Blue Sky Basin. They're every Tuesday and Friday, 1045. Convenient meeting location right at what we call Mountaintop. That's right. So the top of Buffalo, the top of Chair 4, Chair 11, and Chair 5, you're going to find Henry's Hut. Meet there, be a little bit early, and go learn more about what's on the other side of Vail. Right, and they'll tell you what you can do and where you're, where the terrain is best for you. You do kind of have to be a pretty good skier or rider, like an intermediate sure. or above, to get back there and to get back there in the back bowls. The grooming might let you get back there a little bit sooner in your ability, but I would say intermediate, advanced, get in those back bowls. That's Don't right. be making up excuses. And if you're 60 or older, there's a tour for you also. That's right. That's on Mondays at 930 and you meet at the Eagle Bond. So you can take the Gandhi up, you know, a nice ride, finish your coffee, talk with your homies, your friends, That's right. That's <laughs> and right. get up there. It's a 60 and over. But once again, kind of looking for pretty decent skiers on that. That's right. Yeah. And then got to keep up. And then like we talked about riding up the Eagle Bond gondola at the top of the Eagle Bond gondola is a different world altogether over 11,000 feet of fun at Epic Discovery and Adventure Ridge. What's your favorite ride up there? Um, ski biking. Ski biking? Down. I like okay. the ski bikes. Yeah, you do? I do. Something about it. But no it's bad fun. wipeouts on those? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that just comes with the territory. It <laughs> I love it. The territory. Okay. But there's so much fun up there for everybody. I love tubing. That's my absolute favorite. I think you can take anyone, any age, go tubing. I'm going to say tuber, be smart. Huh? I, I'm a tuber. Yeah, I like tubing. tubing. I'm a snow biker. Yeah, snow biker. And wait, I just wanted to tell you one thing. Wear your goggles if you go tubing because it's fast and furious and the snow's popping in your face. But there's also the Mountain Flyer, which is a roller coaster, which is epically cool. That's right. It's all up there at Adventure Ridge, so check it out. Check Go it out. website to find out more. We're going to be right back to give you some more details on the other resorts. This is Epic, Epic Weekend. Weekend.